during my second year in college, I went to the United Kingdom as an exchange student and I still followed the same 16 and 8 hour of lean gains protocol, but on keto. As a foreign student abroad, this was incredibly easy and effective for both my productivity at school as well as my expenses. Eating keto is actually super cheap and you can improve both your physical as well as mental performance. You don't need any fancy supplements and the best foods are actually the cheapest ones. On average, my daily budget for food was like 3 to 5 pounds, which is freaking low and incredibly sustainable. You don't want to be eating all the random foods that are trying to sell you at supermarkets anyway because first of all they're not healthy, second of all they're more expensive, third they give you fewer nutrients which makes you eat more of them and fourth you'll have more cognitive power to focus on school. The best diet for your health, cognition, finance as well as sanity is a very minimalistic diet with all the essential fatty acids and amino acids. You don't need to eat all the colorful fruit and vegetables because first they're not required for your body to survive, second, they're more expensive, third, they're often covered with pesticides, GMOs and other inflammatory substances that may potentially give you gut disorders and brain fog, and four, they can cause decision fatigue, whether while shopping or thinking about what kind of a recipe you're gonna make out of them. Instead, my minimalistic Keto IF menu consisted of the staples that you would want to eat almost every day. Eggs. One of the most bioavailable sources of protein with all the essential amino acids, DHA, EPA and cholesterol for the brain. An entire carton of eggs costs like one pound and I was literally eating like a dozen of them every day. They're so good and so effective. Chicken wings and chicken thighs. An amazing source of collagen, some more protein and fats. It has amino acids like glycine and tryptophan which are great for the skin and neurotransmitter balance. I was getting these frozen chicken thighs and chicken wings which are like three times cheaper than chicken breast. At the same time, the chicken thighs are like two times more nutritious. We live in such a crazy world. People are eating chicken breast and throwing away the egg yolks when those are the most nutritious foods. You can't do much with just pure protein. You need the fats as well. It's crazy to think about how much food and money gets wasted because people think they're being healthier by avoiding these full fat foods. Whereas in reality, they would be healthier and they would have better body composition results because of that as well. The egg is the symbol of the soul. Did you know that? But moving on with canned sardines and salmon. I was still trying to eat some fish at least two to three times a week because I wanted to get the healthy omega-3s and DHA for the brain. Instead of buying expensive salmon fillet or something like that, I bought sardines canned in brine or olive oil. That's another cheap hack for saving money while still eating healthy food. The same with meat. I bought large bags of frozen meat in bulk so it would be cheaper. You literally just have to search for the cheapest bone broth bones and pork chops. They have a much better macronutrient profile again for keto especially and they're much healthier while at the same time saving you money. Such a crazy world. For my fats I was using a large container of extra virgin olive oil and regular butter. Honestly those are the only extra fat sources you need and you don't need any fancy black seed oil or avocado oil or something like that. Olive oil gives you the polyphenols and promotes cardiovascular health, while butter gives you short-chain fatty acids which feed the gut microbiome and repair the cells. I can't believe! For my carbs, I was eating regular green cabbage, frozen spinach, some broccoli and cauliflower. I also ate some onions and garlic for the prebiotics and that's all I wanted. What's even better about it is that these cruciferous vegetables, root tubers and onions they have virtually no pesticides or GMO contaminations in comparison to something like a conventional supermarket apple or a tomato. The prices are again heavily in favor of the vegetables. Fruit is freaking expensive but it doesn't have really any health benefits other than some extra fructose. Again people think they need to spend a lot of money on eating healthy whereas in reality you just have to educate yourself and make better decisions. You don't need fancy seasoning either. I use regular sea salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, cinnamon, ginger and turmeric. That's it. And those are going to be amazing for neurogenesis, promoting autophagy and reducing inflammation. So you would want to add them to your diet no matter what. Like I said, in total my daily budget was somewhere around 3 to 5 pounds and I was really enjoying this minimalistic way of eating. There was literally nothing else in my fridge but eggs, some meat, cabbage and butter. Butter. Eating two meals a day was also another amazing productivity hack. Body, mind, empowerment. Get stronger, faster, smarter, quicker, 
friendlier, more helpful, more driven. Everything the buddy needs. Control your mind.